All right, Shawan, it's No Limit Eddie, back with another video. You saw the thumbnail. Oh, I don't know if it actually started. All right, I think it's now it's going. Shalom, it's No Limit Eddie, back with another video. You saw the thumbnail. You also saw the title. Um, yes, Sunday live stream, Sunday live stream, as always. We're going to be talking about how to make money in Africa. So, shout out to everybody who's actually on this joint already. I appreciate you for coming on in here. You know, this shouldn't be too crazy of a topic, too crazy of a conversation. I just thought I'd hop on today and discuss this type of topic. You know, um, uh, we got Todd in the building. What up, Todd? I think this is a question that I get a lot um, about making money to come to Africa. You know, most people who, who want to come, they have one main issue, and that one main issue is... How will I be able to afford such a journey? How will I be able to afford to sustain myself on a long period of time? Hey, what is the job market like? You know, they're definitely interested in, in getting a different quality of life. But one of the um, big stomping blocks is always finances. We got a lip balm from, they can't see it. From Sprouts, you guys know that store. I don't know if it's nationwide or if it's just in LA, but it's a grocery store called Sprouts, and they sell um, some like vegan lip balm and things of that nature. So it's pretty cool. Uh, Charles says, "Shalom, greeting from uh, greetings, Grand Rising, peace and love, light from Las Vegas." Most definitely, everybody who's coming in here, go ahead and smash the like button for me. Go ahead and smash the like button for me, guys. Let's get up to five likes in this live, five likes in this live stream. The more you like the video, the more YouTube shares it out. And thus, the more people that we have um, coming into the stream. But yeah, Charles, um, right now it's actually nighttime for me. It is around uh, probably 7, 7 o'clock at night. And so um, I know from, if you're in Vegas, it's probably around 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock in the morning. But for me, it's nighttime. And if you're in here right now, go ahead and drop a chat in the chat section. Let me know who all is in here and different things like that. What do you guys have going on? Yeah, today we're going to have a pretty cool live, a way for everybody to kind of come on in and we'll start the live stream up, or the topic up in just a second. If you guys hear any noise in the background, that is my washing machine, washing a couple of clothes right now. Um, yeah, 10 for in Vegas. Okay, awesome, awesome. Everybody that's coming in right now, go ahead and smash the like button. Go ahead and smash the like button, guys. Go ahead and get these likes up. Um, let's try to get to around, um, let's get five likes in this live, five likes in this live. So if you're in here right now, I need two more of you guys to go ahead and smash the like button. Um, if you don't know how, I can explain to you guys how to do that. We now have Shay Vlogs in the building. Shout out to my sister Shay Vlogs for being in here. Um, she actually will be releasing a sales page very soon for her book, uh, Ultimate. I forgot what her book is called, but she's going to be releasing a sales page for her book very soon. So you guys are going to look out for that. Um, she might post it on her community tab or something like that. Um, things of that nature. Good evening, right, 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 right. You know how stuff goes, Charles. You know how that stuff goes, Charles. But how, Charles, man, what you got going on today? What you got going on for your Sunday? Let me know. I don't know, like, what your schedule is like. If you're just off from work today, you know, or you know what you have planned. But everybody's coming in. Go ahead and smash the like button, guys. Today we're going to be talking about, you know, how to make money in Africa. This is a question that I get a lot. And so today I'm going to go ahead and um, let me pull this up too. So today I'm going to go ahead and basically, um, you know, give a little bit of a talking, talk about the situation today, I guess you can say.
I said, sipping Reggie Infused coffee from Organo Gold and networking and healing from a bike accident that failed with no equipment. Wow, wow. So what kind of what kind of um, coffee is this? Reshi infused coffee. I'm not a big coffee drinker at all. You know, I don't drink coffee pretty much ever. Um, I will drink tea from time to time on rare occasions, but I'm not a coffee drinker. And um, what kind of bike? You talking about a motorcycle or like a mountain bike type situation? Yeah, let me know about that situation there. I've been definitely riding my motorcycle uh, around a lot. And that's been fun. This is actually my mask right here. So um, people will see me out and about with this mask going like a little paintball type of mask. But what it does is it keeps the sand from getting into your eye and the wind from getting into your eye as well. So this has kind of been like my go-to transportation tool. You know what I mean? It's vital. You can't leave the house without it. I also have some gloves too. I'll show you guys the gloves. You also got some gloves too. Supposed to be like, you know, with the little knuckle things in there. Little things on these fingers. Um, sliders, palm sliders. Shout out to, um, shout out to Shade for bringing these for uh, me and Nolan and Shay. Miss C. Eddie, hello, hello to you, Miss C. Have you been to Uganda? I have not been to Uganda. I only countries that I've actually like really been in, like as far as living and experiencing long term, uh, were Tanzania and Egypt. Um, you know, as far as flying into certain countries, I was in Turkey for like 24 hours for a layover, but I just stayed in the airport. Um, you know, and all my other layovers were in a lot of different places, but they were pretty much short layovers, two hours or one hour, you know, different things like that. Not too long in different airports. So um, for the most part, Egypt and Tanzania are the countries that I have experience with. Everybody's coming in, go ahead and smash it. Like, go ahead and smash it. Like, Miss C, are you considering going to Uganda? Let me know. Yeah, if you, I mean, the only thing I know about Uganda is just from people who, who've been on our live streams in the past. And they tell me, you know, Uganda is a really cool place, a nice place. Of course, it's up there in Africa. Um, you know, I did hear that the visa is kind of got to leave out every three months, which again, if you're planning on relocating to a country, I don't recommend a country that you got to leave out, come in. That's, that's some weak stuff. Usually, um, at least especially if it's every three months, because that's, that's every quarter essentially. So you're going to have to spend a trip out every single quarter, um, which is going to add up financially, uh, from time to time with flights or train rides or even bus rides. Um, COVID tests, hotel stays, you're going to have to have food in that other country. You know what I mean? You are going to have to get a visa in that next country. So it's, it, it does, it will add up after a time if you have to do that every single quarter. And three months definitely flies by when you're overseas. You know, I've been here now in Egypt just for a year alone by itself. That's another six months over in uh, Tanzania. That time flew by. So um, yeah, that time flew by. And considering relocating from the U.S., I don't want yellow fever shots, so I was looking into East Africa. I definitely understand. Um, for anybody who's looking to relocate to Africa, I, this is what I would tell you, especially if you haven't um, traveled outside of America before. I want you to pick up a copy of this book. It's called The Ultimate Relocation Guide. Um, it has everything that you need to know about relocating. A lot of people make a lot of mistakes, a lot of silly mistakes, too, but it's, it's just because they don't have the knowledge. You know, uh, so I just have the link into the chat for you, Miss C. I highly suggest that you go ahead and invest into that book. It's like $19.99, plus you get a whole bunch of free bonuses at this moment in time. But it's going to save you a lot of headache. It's going to save you a lot of headache, um, for sure. Uh, the coffee is 100% um, free trade, Arabica, Arabica, okay, a bean. I also have red tea. Get shot to red tea the mountain bike mongoose thresholds, uh, part made in Taiwan, built in New York. Yeah, shout out to uh, mongoose. I had a mongoose bike uh, sold out in my backyard. It wasn't even mine, it was my cousin's, but you know, we didn't lock them up that day, and somebody ended up taking the mongoose bike. My sister had a Tony Hawk BMX bike. Then I had a random mountain bike that we got from our neighbor, 
And um, all three of the bikes were stolen in that one night. You know what I mean? Came back in the backyard and hit a lick. You know, it was crazy. Everybody smashed, like, everybody smashed the like button. Guys, get us to 10 likes in this live, 10 likes in this live stream. The more you guys like the video, the more it lets YouTube know, um, uh, the more it lets YouTube know that you guys are enjoying the content. And if you guys are, um, if you guys smash the like, you guys are enjoying the content, and YouTube shares out to more people, more people can come into the live. Now, when more, more people come into the live, what that does is it lets more people have impressions of the ads. More people that watch the ads means the more revenue we can make off of these live streams. And so, of course, if you guys like the content, you want to support it, all it's definitely free to smash the like button. And I'll even show you guys how to do it. I think I bought that book a while ago, name of the book. Um, it's called The Ultimate African Relocation Guide. Um, your phone, if it's horizontal like this, um, turn it vertically up and down. Exit out the chat and smash the like button. My guy David is hit the super chat. So hold on. Shout out to David for hitting that super chat and um, throwing up a, a thumbs up in the comments. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Anybody who supports the channel via PayPal, Cash App, or Super Chat, we'll get the clappers rung for them or clap for them. All right, for sure. Uh, one of the unique things about the No Eliminated channel. But yes, yeah, so just like the video. If your phone is horizontal, just turn it vertically. Exit out to chat, smash the like button. If your phone is, or if you're in a computer, hit the thing on the right, minimize the window, and then smash the like. And if you're on your TV, you can smash the like on your TV. Or you can um, put your phone out and smash the like if you're watching from the TV as well. I got bikes to raffle at US Bets on Bonanza here in Los Angeles. I spoke. I spoke it literally into existence. I said, watch me call it. What? Big up, big up. But our brother seen your page the other day. I'm locked in. African food. Okay, okay. Um, so I am in uh, Egypt. I am in Egypt. Uh, what do you like most about Egypt? What part of Africa is Tanzania? Tanzania is in East Africa. Um, Tanzania is in East Africa. Rwanda, Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda, Burundi. Those are all um, East African countries. Shout, yeah, shout out to David from Las Vegas. Many more, for sure, for sure. Um, shout out to African Foods up front of the channel. Everybody come in and smash like. Everybody come in and smash like. Um, my phone is charging right there, so my notes for the video are on my phone. So I'll grab that in just a second. Um, I'll grab that from just a, in just a second, and then we will um, get into the topic of today's video. But this is a very common question that I get: is like, okay. I see the potential of moving to the continent. I see the higher quality of life. That seems really cool. Um, I see the peace. I see the um, connection with other diaspora. It seems like a really cool thing. However, I'm a little bit iffy about how would I be able to afford to play? You know what I mean? Um, is there jobs and should I start a business or should I come with a regular business already? How much do I need to have saved? You know, finance is a big consideration for most people when they're planning out the relocation. And so today I want to talk about mainly one big question, which is how to make money when you're actually here. You know, the difference is starting a, uh, starting a physical business versus starting a online business. Um, you know, and, and that's what we want to talk about in today's content. Okay, somebody said, um, okay, hold on. How, ha oh, how long have I been on a journey? So I came... I've been, I was in Tanzania for six months, and then I was in Egypt for an additional, basically on August 4th, I'll be, I've been in Egypt for 12 months. So we're about a year and a half into the living outside of America. Uh, yeah, so around a year and a half in, at this, basically at this current moment in time. As soon as I make money online, I'm definitely out of here. Shout out to Black Hearts. Okay, definitely. We'll talk about that in just a second. Everybody's coming. Let me get my phone. Get my notes. Everybody's coming in. Smash the like button, guys. Smash the like button. What's up, Royal? What up, Royal? Okay. All right, all right, so let's get into it. So how to make money in Africa, right? That's what we wanna talk about. Of course, you know, when it comes to making money, there is, um, you know, there is a lot of ways to do that. Most people wanna know mainly, okay, jobs, 
start a business, physical business, or start an online business, make money online. Those are the three main considerations that people have when thinking about relocating. Now, as far as the job, I basically eliminate that one straight off the rip. Um, getting a job over on a continent, is it possible? Of course it is. But the likelihood of it and the likelihood of it paying what you needed to pay to sustain a life that you desire to live um, is just not optimal. So I, I kind of usually will eliminate that one from, from the rip. Now, you have the choice now between starting a physical business and starting an online business. Which one of those will be best? So I think the first thing to consider is the speed to launch. Now, for most people, when they're coming um, to the continent, they may have a couple of thousand dollars saved or they may not have really anything at all saved. And so there needs to be a quick way to generate revenue for them. I noticed this is just me personally. Uh, around the three month mark is when people start to experience financial uh, burden. Uh, it's starting to get a little bit stressful for people, for people financially. Everybody smash the like button, guys. Everybody smash the like button, okay? We need to get up to uh, 16 likes on this live, 16 likes on this live. So if you watch me on your phone, I'll show you guys how to smash the like if you don't know how. If you watch me on your phone, it's horizontal like this. Flip it vertically, exit out the chat, and smash the like. If you happen to be watching me on the computer, just minimize the window by hitting that thing, the little square on the right, minimize it, and then smash the like that way. If you're watching on the TV, then go ahead and pull out your phone and smash the like, or I've heard you can smash the like on the TV as well with some of these new smart TVs, all right? I highly appreciate everybody smashing the like. It goes a long way in supporting the No Limited channel. And so around the three-month mark, people start to experience financial woes. You know, like, wow, well, okay, I'm running out of my savings quicker than I thought. Around three month mark, you know, it's like, okay, I need to get some money coming in. You know, um, I may, they may sort of consider, should I go back? Should I stay? Like, what should I do? Around three month mark, that's normally when things get a little bit dicey. And so, this, the, in considering should you start a physical business or should you start an online business, you should definitely consider the speed it would take to get up and running. So, with the physical business, I don't recommend starting a physical business right off the, right off the rip because you need to kind of know the local area in, in which you want to start the business. You're going to need to find some trusted locals. You know, you're going to have to find out a spot that's safe and that you want to rent in. You know, you're going to have to get physical products and stuff like that in. And so that's a physical business will take a little bit of time. And I really don't even recommend starting a physical business in the beginning. You should probably live in that country, experience that country, and, and see if you actually vibe with it before you invest a lot of capital into starting a business in that country. So I say you stay in a country at least for a year before you really even consider starting up a physical a, a, a business presence in that country um, and to see if it's right for you or not. All right. So the speed to launch. So when starting a physical business versus an online business, that's one thing to consider. Um, how much funds and how much capital do you have? Will you be able to, to survive? And not only to survive, but to thrive there for a year um, before starting a business. Okay. Um, everybody smash like everybody smash the like button guys let's go ahead and get up to 18 likes in this live guys 18 likes in this live i need three more of you guys who are watching this live stream right now to smash a like button so don't wait for three other people to do it you who's watching this right now who's seeing my hand move around just go ahead and smash a like all right so that's the first thing to consider is speed to launch online businesses you can launch them a whole lot quicker than you can a physical business and so that's one thing to consider though if you have the capital to wait out a year, to live there a year, to experience, to move around, to travel to different parts of the country, to meet people, to network, then a physical business might be right for you. If you don't have that much capital, you know, if you're coming with, let's say, less than 50 or 60,000, starting a physical business may not be the right move for you. Maybe better do an online business for you. Now, another thing to think about is capital, okay? How much capital do you actually have to start? Now, physical business clearly is going to usually take up more capital than an online business would. You are going to have to think about physical items. Like you're going to have to like physically rent out a location. And most times, commercial leases are not going to be like a quick month to month. They're going to be a little bit of a longer term, you know, buy-in. And so you may have to rent out a space for a year, two years, three years. You know, um, when you want out and renting out a physical space. Now, once you go ahead and get that physical space, you're still going to have to do a, probably a build out. To kind of customize it to what you want it to be, you know, um, the lighting and the flooring and the, and the color of the walls, you know, that's what you're gonna have to do as well. That's capital intensive. You also, once you go ahead and get the shop the way you want it to be, you're gonna actually have to furnish the shop. You know what I mean? And put in your cash register and put in your shelves and 
um, you know, put in your, your break room, your lounge area. You know, so this is a, this is a capital intensive process if you plan on doing a physical business in a country in which you plan to reside in. Everybody go ahead and smash the like button. It's, it's almost despicable that we're only at 16 likes right now, guys. So go ahead and smash the like. If you're watching this live stream, it's 100% free to do. And it supports the channel as a whole, um, essentially by getting more people to, to come into the live stream. So I'm going to smash the like. Let's get up to 18 likes in this live. So two more of you guys, two more of you guys to smash the like button um, right now, right away. Go ahead and do that for me, guys. I appreciate it. So, um, yeah, the, the capital. So, you know, starting a physical business, you're going to have to, you know, get the shop, lease it out for however many years. You're going to have to do the build out. You're going to have to then furnish it. More likely, you're going to either have to employ yourself if you still somebody of age who wants to work. Or you're going to have to employ someone else or, you know, going to have your expenses when it comes to employees. There's a lot of legal fees that you have to pay, you know, when starting a business in a foreign country as a foreigner. Um, and so you're going to, have to also have to have physical products, you know, physical inventory in your shop to, you know, to, to actually sell, right? You need, you need products to sell unless you're going to do a service-based business, which is kind of a different concept. Um, we need products to sell, you know what I mean, as well. And so that's something to consider is the capital you will need to start. Um, let's read a couple of comments. Uh, how are you and your sister doing? You know, we're doing well. African Food said, can you take an American work from home job to Africa? I'm sure internet will be an obstacle, but is it possible? So you can, you know, do the work from home jobs in Africa, but here's what I've noticed happens nine times out of 10 is when you come over here with the whole work from home job, once they ping your computer to not being over, not being in America, UK, Canada, um, sometimes Australia, New Zealand, not any of those major uh, Western countries. Once they pay your computer outside of that location, they usually will go ahead and cut your employment, terminate your employment. There's a weird thing about once you are no longer in those main countries that they want you to be in, about them just not wanting to allow you to be employed you know, on, on the online basis. And so this is why you see a lot of people when they, when they do come to the continent without a, a full plan, they just assume their fallback will be, I'll get a job online and I'll be straight, I'll be positive. And so what typically ends up happening is when they do go for that, when they do get into the situation where they need to make money, they'll apply for all these online jobs and they'll keep getting decline, decline, decline. And their backup plan generally fails them um, tremendously because it's very difficult to get a work from home job while on the continent. And if you bring one over, it's usually better. But if they do ping you outside of uh, those, those countries you're supposed to be in, then they will nine out of 10 terminate you um, from, from, from the experience that I've known people who've had. Um, so that's what I would say. And so that's why I say jobs pretty much are eliminated. So your options are to start a business, like a physical business, or start an online business. Um, those are the two ways that you want to make money consistently. If not, you're going to have to have some type of retirement. Now, most people are not in a retirement phase, I don't think. So um, we're either going to have to start an online business or a physical business to sustain ourselves, right? So capital, yes, capital involved. So we're answering the question, should you start a physical business or should you start a uh, online business, right? So those are the two kind of questions you guys have uh, or choices you guys have in my personal opinion. So physical business, you know, you got to think about the speed to launch uh, versus online business, what the speed to launch is. Online businesses are going to be quicker to launch, meaning you can get to making money quicker than you can with a physical business, right? There's so much you got to do to get a physical business started before you're even ready to collect to, to collect revenue in. Um, the capital it takes to get started is going to differ tremendously as well. Um, in a physical business, you have to have a physical store. An online business, you need to have a domain name. That's going to be like your, your that's going to be your store. Your address is going to be your domain name, www.xyz, xyz. So, a domain name will cost you anywhere from eight dollars to twenty dollars. A physical warehouse, physical store is going to cost you a couple thousand dollars, right? Um, exactly, exactly. So, a uh, physical business is going to cost you a couple thousand dollars. You know, they're usually going to have you lock in for a year, two years, three years, even uh, when you rent out a physical space. So, that's something to keep in mind and to consider is you know the, the capital required to start. Of course, a physical business will require you to have physical inventory, which is going to be capital intensive as well. You're going to have to buy these different items in and both. You're going to have to get shelving units. You're going to have to get a, a cash register. You know, you're going to have to get signage. You're going to have to do you know a lot of stuff like that. You don't have to worry about with a physical business. But the online business, you can sell digital products, right? Um, which literally costs you 
just time to create, right? It's a time-based business, energy-based business. Um, and then you can start selling those without having to physically make or manufacture any product. And so that makes the, the cost of the product simply time. Uh, and most of the time, if you don't have money, you usually have time. So you can leverage one of the two, right? Um, rich people can, can leverage money. Other people can leverage time. And so, um, yeah, that's something to consider as well. And by the way, um, link in the top of this uh, video, I'll drop it in right here. You can sign up. Oh, that's my book, actually. All right, well, I just, the link that I just dropped in right now, you can sign up for my email newsletter um, to learn more about, you know, uh, uh, relocating and making money online. Um, sign up for the email newsletter. It's just your name, email, phone number, and you'll be signed up. All right, so just click that link that I just dropped into the chat. Um, yeah, so the capital, right? So an online business is a lower, is requires less capital to start than a physical brick and mortar business. And so that's something to consider as well. What, what system will work better for you? Everybody who's in here right now, go ahead and smash like button, guys. Go ahead and smash your like button. We should already have been at 18 likes. Uh, people are a little bit sluggish today. We're a little bit, you know, uh, like a day ago today. Maybe it's a Sunday, Sunday, fun day. I don't know. But go ahead and smash the like, all right? Um, capacity for revenue is the next thing to think about when you're thinking about should you start a physical business or should you start an online business. Um, and what I mean by capacity for revenue is a store that's physical is limited to the people that's in that area or people who can travel to the area to buy from you. There's also a set amount of physical space within the store to accommodate a set amount of people. Um, so your store would be able to accommodate, let's say, 15 people at a time. So that means at the maximum, you can have 50 people in your store at one time shopping. Now, the capacity for revenue in an online store is essentially limitless, right? I can have 500 people on my website at one point in time, um, and it's not going to be like it's too much. It's too much people on the site at one time, right? So the capacity for revenue is, is significantly increased in an online business, whereas in a store you have maybe one register, two registers, you can only serve one or two people at a time. If you're online. You can serve 500 people at the, at the exact same time, and you know they can all be checking out at the exact same time. You can earn that revenue from 500 people versus just two people at once. And so that's something to consider as well, the capacity for revenue. And so this is why, of course, I'm a, I'm a bigger fan of online businesses versus um, physical businesses. Like I just said, a speech launch, I can launch an online business in a matter of weeks, months, uh, versus a physical business might take you know years. Uh, when it comes to the capital, it's a lot uh more affordable to start an online business you really need a domain you know website hosting a couple of software and things like that and you got yourself an online business up and running um the capacity for revenue of course an online business has a increased capacity for revenue because there is no limit to how many people can be on the site basically at one point in time um likewise there is no limit to the amount of people that can um you know be checking out at once so that's something to think about as well um control okay i think about control of this as well so we, we saw COVID 19 how other businesses were shut down the ones that were able to stay open were the businesses that were online because it doesn't really make sense to shut down an online business especially if you're thinking about somebody who's selling digital products for example there is no you don't need to go to a post office you don't need to you know interact with people on a day-to-day -day basis it's just they buy the product and they're, they're pretty much got it on the inside um and so uh, let me also drop this in as well. Um, everybody go ahead and smash the like. Everybody go ahead and smash the like button, okay? The more you guys smash the like, the more YouTube shares and recommend this video out to more people. So I need to get up to 18 likes in this live. 18 likes in this live. Um, let's get up to 18 likes, guys. I need one of you guys to smash the like. Two of you guys to smash the like um, before we continue on the conversation. All right, there we go. We get 18 likes. I appreciate that, guys. I appreciate that. Everybody who's in here, continue to smash the like. I continue to smash the like. Um, yeah, so control. You know, when you have an online business, you typically have more control over the process, over the procedures. You know, um, some, of course, cities, countries, and things like that have different zoning laws. 
So you may be able to run a certain business in this part of town, but not in the next part of town. Um, so you got to think about things of that nature. Simultaneously to that, you know, if you're selling digital products, you don't have to really worry about getting shut down. If there is happening to be another like CV19 situation, you don't really have to get the risk of getting shut down. Um, you also got to think about safety protocol. Again, this is one of the big reasons why I don't recommend a physical business when you first landing on a continent and inside of a country. Um, I'm going to turn this thing off for a second. I know this start beeping. Um, especially when you first landing in a country on the fact that you don't know the environment well enough yet to determine if it's a good environment or not a good environment for you to start a business. So if you have a physical business, you have physical inventory inside of a physical store, which means you can physically be robbed, right? And so um, especially if you're not a uh, well-known in a community or you're not really well associated with the community, then um, you, of course, run a risk of uh, we'll turn this watchman thing off in a second. You are, of course, being more associated with the potential of getting robbed. Somebody can break into your store, take the inventory out because they're going to see you as an outsider, um, especially if you're just going to randomly hop into a country and start building a business. And I feel like this will happen more so if you're black versus if you are not black. I just I just think that there is a certain way that we are treated that other people are not treated. Um, and so um, that's something to consider. That's something to consider as well is that with a physical business, you you, you take them out of the mouth. This is loud everywhere. Not sure if you guys hear that uh, outside with the truck. Um, he's probably going around and selling um, gas cans. He's probably going around and selling gas cans. But no way to know for sure, you know, but I think that's what he's doing. Okay, I think I think he's maybe out of out of uh, hearing distance now. Hopefully, um. So anyway, yeah. So you open yourself up to being physically robbed, physically having your store broken into, people stealing from you, robbing you. Basically, that's the potential as well. Um, with when you start like a physical business, with an online business, I guess you still run a risk of you know being robbed and stuff like that. But it'll be more so that somebody will have to like decide to hack you, I guess, and try to get into your system and do all kinds of stuff like that. But I don't know if it's like it's going to be nearly as easy or as common for somebody to do that as it would be to just go break inside of a store that's physically present in front, inside of a neighborhood, inside of an area, or something like that. Um, and so, yes, yeah, so we're just discussing different different aspects of a physical business versus an online business. Um, which one would be best for you to start if you're planning on relocating to the continent? Um, how much is rent for you? And is there a specific reason? uh you're in egypt opposed to other countries and have you been to west africa yet uh like i said i've been to two countries egypt tanzania those are two countries that i've been in outside of that i have not really lived in any other countries of course outside of america um other than that you see little, little layovers and stuff like that but not necessarily living in a country long enough to make uh, this, this determining factor of how i feel about one place or our next place just mostly tanzania egypt and the america those are the three countries that I have experience in. Uh, rent, we have videos on the channel about that. Um, reason for me being in Egypt, you know, it's, it's a spiritual reason, you know, um, for the most part, even why I left America to begin with. I have a video though on my channel talking about why I decided to move to Egypt, um, you know, referencing different scriptures and different things of that nature, you know. So um, if you're interested in that, you might want to check that out as well, um, for sure. Um, Dom said, location is a big deal. I agree, Eddie, but I like to interact with people. Man, everybody likes to interact with people. That's great. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you can you can just go out and go to a grocery store and interact with people. You don't have to start a business and you know take a financial risk and interact with people. And so um, that is a, a big component of you know what, what you want to do, what you don't want to do. But you know, you can interact with people just by going to the grocery store. Um, hoops to jump through, you know, when you we you gotta think about you know when you want to start a business, what type of hoops would they actually jump through, laws. You know, legally, what do you have to do to, you know, be in compliance? You know, who do you have to bribe? You know, um, what what tax uh, 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 implications does this have now? Are you going to have to pay taxes in America and in the form and in the country that you're residing in? You know, um, what what kind of fees would they charge you? And there's different things of that nature. You know, the hoops you have to jump through when starting a physical business versus an online business. These are those are two separate situations and identities and things of that nature. Um, and then the last thing, of course, 
but you don't have to consider is the skill set. What skill set do you actually possess? Do you possess the ability to run and operate a physical business, right? Do you possess the, the ability to hire people, to fire people, to um, to manage an inventory system, right? To, to understand the, the a concept of cash flow, you know? Um, do you understand how to actually run and manage and operate a physical business um, in reality? Or do you just know how to work, you know? Or do you just know how to do X, Y, Z or X, Y, Z? Like, there's a lot more that goes into both businesses. You got to think about, do you know, do you know how to build a website? Do you know how to market a website? Do you know how to grow on social media? Do you know how to have an email list, how to have a text message list, how to get attention, right? There's a lot of things you have to know on both sides um, that could be a big determining factor of what business might be best, better off for you. Um, I have access both online and physical with the ability to pre-sale product from my office, from all from my online back office. Okay, got you. So are you are you like a business owner? Do you sell coffee? Is that what you do? Or how does that work? Do you have a physical location as well? Sharon said online is better. You know, um, yeah, it all depends. You know, it all depends, Sharon, about what you're trying to do and how you're trying to do it. You know what I mean? Um and it depends on the amount of income you, or amount of money you have. You know, if you have a substantial enough amount of money and you have a vision and a desire to have a physical business that you feel like you want to really serve the community, you know, then that the physical business might be best for you. You know, especially if you already have a lot of money, you don't really need the money per se from the business. Of course, you want the business to be lucrative and to be profitable but you don't really need the money for the business, you can definitely start a physical business easier than somebody who needs that money, who needs to go out and, and get to it, um, you know? So it's just, it depends on your situation, I feel like. Independent distributors in 50 countries and five continents. Okay, okay. So I guess, you, I, I don't know if you're selling coffee? Sounds like a jet landing. Independent distributor with or okay organo product and service. Okay, got you, got you, got you. Um, interesting, interesting. You know, I've never been into that type of business before, as far as distrib distribution or anything of that nature. Yeah, Sharon, I'm not sure what you were laughing. If it was like talking about the stuff, all the noise that was going on outside. True. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely a lot, you know, to think to consider about both sides. Both sides have their benefits, you know. And um, I would just say you gotta know who you are and what your skill set will be. Um, clearly, I'm more so in a position where online businesses made more sense for me, um, just personally, you know. But I think it all depends on the situation of who you are and what you have going for yourself. Now, of course, me personally, I'm gonna recommend everybody who's on this live stream right now to go ahead and click this link and become a part of my email newsletter. I will be very, very soon, very, very soon releasing um, a training, you know what I mean? Do some type of training situation, um, helping people to turn their information into income. So if that's something you're interested in, if you're interested about how to make money uh, online by basically teaching other people what you already know, then click that link, sign up. It's just phone, number, name, and email. Click on the link and definitely sign up for that. Um, it should be really interesting for you guys and really beneficial for you guys as well. I have an idea of how I want to do this, and I think it's going to be really, really, really cool. So that's going to be coming out hopefully very soon. Today is the 24th. Um, right now, I'm just working essentially on the concept of it. The actual materialization of it usually happens pretty quick, but the concept is where I like to spend the most of my time. So um, once the concept is done, the materialization should come pretty quickly afterwards. Um, what do you think of drop shipping? Yeah, I did drop shipping for quite a while. Um, it's a good business model to do and to practice. Um, and it all depends on what platform you're going to do it on and how you're going to do it. If you are somebody who's looking to drop ship, like let's say on Shopify, if you're a beginner, I don't necessarily recommend it. Um, only based on the fact that you have to really learn a lot of skills. You got to learn how to build a good website, a converting website. You have to learn how to, you know, get products that are actually going to sell people that people really want to buy. You have to learn how to run Facebook ads. And the only way to learn how to run Facebook ads 
is to run Facebook ads. And the only way to run Facebook ads is to actually spend money. So you're going to have to spend money without a guarantee of you actually making that money back um, nine times out of ten. Simultaneously to that, Facebook likes to shut people's accounts down relatively quickly. And so when you're drop shipping, let's say, a physical product, nine times out of ten is good. But Facebook is generally going to be your main traffic source. And if your main traffic source decides to leave your content, or not to leave your content, but to, to leave your access to that profile or to your ability to advertise, then, of course, you're going to run into an issue where you're going to have to figure out how to market the product, right? And so everything basically comes back down to attention. How can you gather attention and how can you um, use that attention to sell products? And so I typically recommend, recommend people to do ebooks and to do courses and things like that. Um, if you want to start a business that's kind of independent from a platform because you can create content organically on different social media platforms. Um, and then once people kind of attach themselves to you and say, okay, this person is knowledgeable about video gaming or this person is knowledgeable about uh, hair gr uh, grooming, is this person knowledgeable about, you know, alkaline diets, or whatever, then you set on a product that solves a problem that they're having. And then it's easier to do something like that without having to run a risk of getting your account shut down and different things of that nature. So that's something to think about. Um, now, if you wanted to do like a, a, a selling on a drop shipping uh, method of that, then I'll recommend print on demand. And I'll recommend you do that on platforms like Etsy, like Amazon, you know, um, platforms of that nature. Uh, it's smart to be in both without sacrificing the ability to teach a large amount of people to do the, to do the same over a consistent period of time, right? Right. I like a smoke detector now. Yeah, it definitely does. It's crazy. That was my washing machine um, thing coming off. Yeah, this is like a six liter bottle, bottle of water. You're supposed to drink a gallon a day, so it's about half of that, a little bit over. It's about 60% of that bottle. Um, key to success. Uh, will be congruent to building your business from event to event. Yep, yep. This is how that stuff goes, you know. Um, shout out to African Food. That was everybody on this live. If you have questions, you know, you can feel free to ask them about making money in Africa, what my thoughts about certain business ideas are. Um, if you enjoy the content, definitely smash a like. Also, if you want to support the Nolan Maddie channel, you can hit the pay, you can hit the cash app with a just drop into the chat. We also have PayPal as well. We also have PayPal as well. Um, we also have PayPal as well, which you can go ahead and um, click and donate to the PayPal or the Cash App. We also have the Super Chat, which is a money sign icon somewhere in the chat. You can click on that by a Super Chat or by a Super Sticker. It goes a long way supporting the No Limited channel. Um, and so, yeah, PayPal, Cash App, and Super Chat. Any one of those three methods, and I'll go ahead and ring these here clappers for you. Um, We've been live now for around 43 minutes. So actually, actually the last minute question you guys have, then after this, we'll go ahead and um, hop off of this live. I have a couple of reaction videos coming soon for all of you guys, which I think you guys might enjoy. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy. And um, yeah, it should be cool. Um, somebody said, how is vegan going for you in Africa? I'm not a vegan. I'm not a vegan at all. You know, I eat meat, I eat fish, I eat vegetables. I eat a little bit of everything. Um, I, for the most part, I would say like, I will have phases where I eat a lot of meat, you know, a lot of lamb, beef, you know, stuff like that. Um, and then I'll kind of like, I wouldn't, I would say kind of, I wouldn't say detox, but I'll kind of not eat it for a while. Um, and just eat more plant-based type of foods. Um, then I'll have a, a time where I'll maybe eat a lot of fish for a time and then I'll go back to eating this type of meat or, you know, that's specifically how I do it. Um, but I don't eat chicken, but I will eat like beef and lamb and goat. Those are like the three main meats that I eat, I would say. And then outside of that, I'll eat fish. You know what I mean? As long as it's kosher and things of that nature. So that's typically my, my methodology. Um, has diet changed to being African? Yeah, your diet has to change because not everything is as readily available. Um... You're right. It depends on the need. Yeah, it depends on the need. You know what I mean? It depends on the need, you know, all kind of stuff like that. Um, I'm, I'm excited to actually launch some products, man. Let's launch some products. I definitely haven't launched any products for a minute, and I'm excited to do this. 
Um, so that's a launch some products coming soon. You said some businesses can benefit communities. Yeah, of course. You know, it all depends. It all depends on who you are, what you are, and what your intentions are. If you have the intentions to, um, if you have the intentions to, um, you know, really benefit a certain area, a certain community, then it might be beneficial for you to start a physical based business. Uh, 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 uh. Somebody said, you're all right, Eddie, it depends on the need. It does. Uh, do you run into any vegans or plant-based only people? Yeah. Um, I, I know that um, a family out here called the So Un... I think the channel is called So Untypical. Check their channel out. They're here in Egypt. Um, they have a plant-based lifestyle. You know what I mean? They don't eat meat. They'll eat fish, I guess, occasionally. But they're pretty much plant-based type of people uh, for the most part. And they, um, you know, have their experience, I guess, being plant-based more so. Um, being plant-based more so. Shout out to Dark Face for the super sticker. Shout out to Dark Face for the super sticker. Um, these right here are the clappers. Um, these clappers are going to clap for you via the PayPal, the Cash App, or the Super Chat. Um, I will go ahead and put the link into the uh, Cash App, and I'll also drop in a link to the PayPal. The PayPal link is right there. Click on that. Super Chat is uh, Cash App is in there, and then the Super Chat is that money sign icon in the chat. So shout out to Dark Face for the Dance and Lemon. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Hi, just wondering, did you open a bank account there or keep your account in America? I want to say how's Egypt, Eddie? Um, banking, you know, if you have questions like that, Danny, you know, of course, I address all those questions, of course, in the Ultimate African Relocation Guide, which I'll drop the link into right here. Definitely recommend you picking up a copy, especially if you're asking a question like that. And more likely means you plan on relocating. You should definitely pick up a copy of that book. It's going to help you to avoid a lot of the mistakes. We talk about, you know, how to avoid ATM fees. You know, we talk about how to access your money, how to send money, how to receive money. Uh, while being on a continent, we talk about debit cards. What's the best debit card you should get? You know, that will, of course, refund you your fees because ATM fees can get pricey. Um, so, these, you know, what cards are refunding your fees? Um, you know, we talk about, what do we talk about as far as money? You know, uh, uh, how to, how to, you know, prevent your bank account from being locked, from them thinking, oh, you're, you, you got scammed by somebody. We talk about a lot of different things that, you know, occur. When you're living over on a continent, it should answer basically all the questions you have about relocating. Um, so if you have any relocation questions, pick up a copy of the Ultimate African Relocation Guide first. Um, and then, of course, if you have any questions from there, my email is available inside of the course. And you'll be able to access it and send me an email, different things of that nature. All right. Um, how Egypt, man, Egypt is basically the same. You know, uh, we've been here for a year. We've been here for a year. Um, that's all I can basically say. It's been nice and calm, you know, um, meeting a lot of people, which is cool. Um, you know, trying to network a lot more with just local Egyptians, talk to more Egyptians and just see how life is. Um, you know, I think, you know, summertime, you know, summertime is basically coming to an end. It, it basically ended about two months, something like that. So, you know, winter time about to come back again, man, it's crazy. So I, just, I gotta just really take my time and soak up the sun as much as I can while, I, while, while it's around. And um, there's different things like that, you know, different things like that. If you, have, if you guys have any questions about money, making money in Africa, or relocating to Africa, uh, you should definitely feel free to ask them right now. Uh, we'll be here another five minutes or so. We'll be in this live stream off in just a second. Um, if you're coming in, go ahead and smash the like button. We have a lot of other videos on the page that you guys might enjoy. If you, go, if you guys decide to go ahead and watch any of those other videos, be sure to um, watch the ads on the videos as that is uh, that contributes significantly to the income that YouTubers get paid is people watching the ads, all right? So I appreciate that. Um, again, click the link on a uh, pin up to the top and sign up for the email newsletter if you guys are interested about how you can go ahead and flip your information that you have into a source of income. You know, it'll be very, it'll be highly beneficial to you um, to go ahead and, and do that. All right, all right, all right. So now we got our last minute questions in. If you guys have any, you feel free to drop them in. 
Um, shout out to everybody, man. Um, we should have some relocation content coming soon or moving content coming soon for you guys. Um, so that should be fun. Showing you guys a new apartment, doing a tour of it. Um, you know, doing a tour of it. Um, and then doing some moderation uh, modifications to it. Uh, and then also the film studio. We want to have yeah, we want to have a nice um, setting or a scene to film in now as well. So we want to make some investments regard, regarding that. That's gonna be some content within itself. And um, yeah, we got some content definitely coming out um, here in just a second. So, so that's how that stuff is. You know how that stuff goes. But with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and end this live stream off. I appreciate all you guys for being on here. Um, do all those things, guys. Um, PayPal, Cash App, and of course, pick up a copy of the Ultimate Relocation Guide. That's going to help you out. Um, that's going to help you guys out a lot if you're planning on really relocating to the continent. Um, and click the link that's pinned up to the top. All right. So, see you guys in the next one. Y'all willing? Peace.